In this screencast, I'm going to discuss the most important profiling setting in JProfiler, which is whether to use instrumentation or sampling for CPU profiling. Let's create a new session with a quick attach feature, which allows you to profile any JVM on your local machine. Here in the background, I have the NetBeans IDE running, and I can select the NetBeans IDE in this list of running JVMs. Let's connect to it. And the one question that JProfile asks you when creating a new session and starting to profile with that new session is whether to use instrumentation or sampling for CPU profiling. That's a very important decision. It's not fixed. You can change it at any uh, later point in time. But JProfile has to know it right away when starting to profile. Instrumentation gets you uh, all features in all views in JProfiler. But if configured incorrectly, if your filter settings are too broad, the overhead may be too high. And sampling is, is great for searching for performance bottlenecks and working with very broad filters, and which is especially useful if you don't know uh, in what subsystem, what part of your application uh, a performance problem is, is located. So let's choose instrumentation right now. As I said, filter settings are extremely important when uh, working with instrumentation. By default, JProfiler offers a, a set of default excludes. Uh, that means uh, some packages are uh, not being profiled. Those are well-known libraries. And, uh, and it's much better to select inclusive filters instead of those default excludes. And we can do that by clicking this hyperlink here. You can see the default excludes in the background here, and by answering yes, we replace those default excludes with um, inclusive filters. We can actually select them from a package browser here. Uh, the profiling agent knows what classes are, are loaded in the NetBeans IDE, and uh, we can open this package tree and then um, select uh, a couple of top-level packages uh, and profile the classes that are contained. Uh, in those packages. Okay, now let's pretend to be interested in the core and editor packages here. This gives us a total number of 578 profile classes. So we click on OK here. We see this is the result of our selection. Uh, we're going to profile the Orc NetBeans core and the Orc NetBeans editor top-level packages and all packages that are included in those top-level packages. And uh, once we click on OK, we can see that the session startup now reflects those changes. It tells us how many classes will be instrumented, and th this is fine with the permission space limit of the profiled JVM. Now, once we click on OK, it'll take some time to retransform all those classes that now have to be profiled and uh, instrumented. And um, once this is done, we can switch to the CPU views. Let's look at the hotspot views. Record CPU data. Now let's go to the NetBeans IDE and uh, open an editor and uh, scroll up and down. So we have some actions that can be profiled in JProfiler. And here we can see the list of hotspots with uh, these profiling settings. Now, as I said, the decision whether you use sampling or instrumentation is, is not final uh, when you create the new session. At any point in time, you can go to the session settings, edit the profiling settings, uh, and choose the sampling template. Uh, when we click on OK here, JProfile asks you whether you want to apply those settings right away or apply them the next time when you start this session. We want to apply them right away. Uh, this is now very quick. There are no classes that have to be re-instrumented. Let's go to the NetBeans IDE, scroll a little up and down, go back to JProfiler. We now see these results have been collected with uh, the sampling method. Sampling is uh, especially good for profiling with very broad filters or with no filters at all. If we go to the session settings, and look at the profiling settings, I can customize the profiling settings. And here you actually see where um, this setting lives on the method call recording tab of the profiling settings dialog. You can choose dynamic instrumentation or sampling. And here there's a checkbox for disabling all filters when you use sampling. Let's do that. Again, JProfile will ask us whether to apply uh, the change profiling settings right away. 
we do so. And uh, we go back to the NetBeans IDE, scroll up and scroll down. And in JProfiler, we can now see lots of low-level methods in the list of hotspots. Now, JProfiler measures down to the last call, and you can open the backtraces to find out which higher-level subsystems invoke that hotspot and uh, change your packages accordingly.